How is everybody doing today? Today I've got another Dragon Ball Xenoverse video for you all, and today's subject is the amount of playable characters in Xenoverse, because apparently that number has changed again. So players in Japan will be able to purchase a guidebook for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Re retailers such as Amazon Japan have begun to list the guidebook for pre-order and purchase, and the description mentions something interesting. There will be 47 playable characters. Not 126, not 100, not 70, but 47. And as well as it says, there will be 50 parallel quests, 200 different skills, and around 400 different pieces of clothing or accessories you can choose for creator characters. Now the specials, I think, and even the accessories and clothes we already knew about, but obviously they'll be increased uh, in DLC. So I'm going to read a short paragraph from the article that contains this information. If you want to look at the article yourself, it will be linked in the description. The number that may surprise you are the 47 playable characters, as Bandai Namco has stated over 70 playable characters last month. If we had to speculate, the possible 47 might not include all of the alternate forms of characters, and they use Goku and Super Saiyan God Goku as an example or the DLC characters. It also could mean just 47 of however many playable characters there are will be covered in the guidebook. Another scenario, although less likely, but possible, is that it might also be a typo and the final number might be 74. Here's a screenshot of all the characters that we currently know to be in the game from trailers or any promotional material like that. Note that this list below is not final, it is possible not all of these characters are playable, as some of them may be non-playable characters and just contribute to the story. And for example, they've used Toki Toki. So as you can see, this list contains well over 47 characters, give or take the couple of characters that may not be playable. I mean, I'm pretty skeptical on taking any of this as fact. I mean, missing on this list as people like Android 16 and Chaozu, and I don't believe a game that's been in development for this long would just randomly cut characters for the sake of it. So what do you all think about this apparent 47 character roster? Would it bother you if this was all we got until they released DLC? Or are you pretty content with just creating your character and playing with solely them? Because I'm assuming that, especially with a game with created character, that the list of characters that you can also play as might not be as important as the customization options that you can use to create your own warrior. Let me know your thoughts on this matter in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like. That helps out tremendously and I appreciate it so much. Until my next Dragon Ball Xenoverse video, have a fantastic day.